Hey everyone, this is the Graco Forever um, all-in-one convertible car seat. This is the Cameron print. They also have a pink print called Kylie. Um, I bought it at Babies R Us and it was $299. Uh, currently they are running, and two times a year they run their 25% off um, great annual trade-in event. You can trade in something and get 25% off. So I did use this. It was um, about $225 with that discount, um, which is a great deal, I feel like. Um, so let's get started. This car seat is um, creating a lot of buzz on the, in the mommy scene because it is claiming that you can use one car seat for your whole baby's car seat career <laughs> life. <laughs> um, it can go all the way from four pounds, preemie, tiny little baby, um, with the use of this insert, all the way up to a backless booster at 120 pounds. It's rear facing to 40 pounds, um, and then forward facing and you know up to 65 pounds with a five point harness, which can get you up until, you know, usually about up till five years old, um, depending on the height. And then also a backless booster to 100 pounds, a, a, a back booster rather to 100 pounds, I'm sorry, booster with the back and then backless booster to 120 pounds, which is um, getting near high school age for some people. So um, I know there are height requirements on that. You're going to have to um, look at the height. They have all the height requirements listed online, so that be sure you're um, looking at both the height requirements and the weight requirements. But for $225 or $299 retail, um, to get 10 years out of it is a great thing. So let's get started on the features. So let's start when it should be very little. This would be backwards facing. Um, this in insert allows you to have a baby in it as small as four pounds. The insert is removable, both the head part of it. So you could have the head part and you could have the body part rather and not the head part uh, if you so choose. I feel like there's kind of a, a gap right here um, that would protrude I guess in a way about an inch so I don't know that I would ever use the head the body without the head part um, I feel like it might just be uncomfortable for baby um, so this is a five point harness to start with it has a, the chest clip as usual and then the buckle Graco had a little bit of an issue and they recalled their buckles a while back um, so these all have the new buckles um, because this car seat just came out after that you could have replaced your buckle but I think that that makes Graco a little bit I'm sure they're really did a lot to make sure their buckles were good so I feel better about that after there's been a recall because they had to really change their practices to make sure that it was a good buckle so this buckle is easy to remove um, it's really smooth and but it is hard enough obviously so baby could not get to it um, toddler I guess could not get to it also they've made an improvement on their chest clips this chest clip is a little bit difficult to undo even for me you have to really push at the same time um, but I have a I have a toddler a three and a half year old who oftentimes undoes her check chest clips so I think this is a great feature there would be no way that she'd be able to get this out um, and you just have to kind of practice to be able to get it but I think I think that's a positive thing because my toddler is um, quite feisty so let's take this out here's what it looks like where this is where we are right now with our 18 pound six month old rear facing still the great feature about this car seat and one of the huge selling points, um, this headrest here is detached. What I mean is it is on a sliding scale. So you pull this button and it can be put in 10 separate positions. This is the lowest. This is the one you would obviously use for your tiny babies. And then you can continue to raise this headrest as up to 10 positions as far as you need it clicks into place without re-threading the seatbelt that is like walking on the moon when it comes to start to car seats here like <laughs> my husband when he saw that part of it he i mean he'd like i thought it was the greatest invention ever so this goes all the way up this is the highest this would be your this would be for position for your your harness um, for five point harness as well as um, the height you would need for for the backless booster you have a huge amount of difference 
between that height and the tiny baby. And this in the back just simply folds up and down as you need it, um, which is really nice that all the parts are right there. You don't have to have extra parts that you have to store in the closet the whole time. It's all right on the car seat. Um, so all of it is removable as well for machine washing, uh, which is really, really nice. Everybody who's ever had a vomit, car vomit, is knows that being able to undo it is very important. Let's take a look on the side at the positioning for recline. So this car seat has six different reclines, um, which I think is a wonderful thing also. This is as reclined as it goes for your teeny tiny babies. There are three stations that would be considered rear facing. So here's one, two, three. This is what you would use for three, which would be probably the majority of the time rear facing um, from about six to nine months up until, you know, hopefully they're, you're keeping your baby rear facing till at, well after two. So this would be the, the position for well into the, the toddler years. When you finally do turn them in, in suggested now that you wait until you're trying as far as you can till four. This would be your forward facing. Uh, there is also this for forward facing, number five. And then you have your booster. The recline is simply a lever that you pull to any station that you want. Very easy. Installation was quite simple with the latch system. Um, there are directions. Please use the user manual to figure out the best way to install, especially in your particular car. You can use the latch or the belt. Um, but the great part about this is there was not a line. You have to, you know, try to figure out if it's level, but there actually is a bubble level in here for the rear facing. So you have to make sure that the bubble is in your, this blue area. To transition from a convertible to a booster would be really simple. You pull it all the way up and then you just take these straps out and you have your seat belt that goes right through here and up, up on their shoulder to position the belt. And then you would take the back off to make it a backless, backless booster. It's so simple. I'm really looking forward to this car seat throughout the next few years. Realistically, it could be the only car seat you ever have to buy, which is an amazing thing, especially for that, um, you know, $299 to get you through 10 years is not too bad. Um, it's been safety tested. It exceeds and meets the safety standards. And I really think it's a great, it's a great car seat. I'm excited to get many years of use out of it. If you have any questions, let me know. I will answer them below. As always, subscribe and like our videos for some more how-tos and reviews. Bye.